Hi everyone, this is Big Face, making a video to be posted on uh, letsmakerobots.com to show my latest robot called Project Elroy. Uh, up to now I've only really been making mobile robots, but in order to test some uh, artificial intelligence theories that I've got, I thought I'd make a, a robot arm. Um, I wanted to make it biologically inspired, um, and I'll just show you what I've got up to now. Here's the robot arm. Uh, it's got an elbow joint driven by two motors, a bicep muscle and a tricep. Um, these motors are turning and winding several turns of string, which in turn move the, the joint up and down. Uh, to, to monitor the, the position of the arm, I've got a stretch sensor, which is a bit of rubber material that as it stretches the resistance changes to give a to give a reading of the arm angle. Um, up here I've, got, I've machined a, a three degree of freedom shoulder joint which can obviously move as as a human human shoulder. The plan is to attach four more motors to, to move this this joint. I chose to use this design rather than servos or linear actuators um, to try and model the, the behaviour of the, the human arm and that is if if you had a servo power in this, this joint and you wanted to move the joint there'd be a lot of resistance and, and the, the joint couldn't be left to go to go loose um, whereas with this design if if the string is is left loose, the, the joint is free to move. Um, obviously at the moment I haven't got the, the string for the, the tricep muscle, but when they're both wound up tight, the joint will flex slightly, but it's, it's fairly rigid. Uh, these motors are being driven by a homemade board, an L298 motor driver, with a surface mount Atmel 80 Mega 8 on the bottom there. Um, and the feedback from the stretch sensor it's going back to the analog to digital input on the microcontroller uh, this is linked up to another 18 mega 32 board which is currently doing nothing it's, but it's in the future going to be used to talk via serial to the to the PC it's also got an LCD display linked up just for showing showing values this board can also monitor the uh, the motor currents and uh, also use that to to determine the force that the motors are putting on on the joint. Um, got a six volt battery pack controlling or powering the the microcontrollers and the sensors and 7.2 pack for the motor power. These motors are actually rated 12 to 24 volts which uh, for the future if I need them to go any faster I can I can up the voltage that I'm using um, I'll just turn it on to show you what it's doing as I said this board at the moment isn't doing anything just flashing some lights and this board is actually controlling the motors and reading the, the stretch sensor as you can see the program at the moment is just moving the arm up and down to set positions and the readout is shown on here of what the stretch sensor is giving out I'm hoping that the, the setup for this system will be the PC running software for the high level control of the robot arm uh, this controller talking via serial to the to the PC and handling interfacing with well, via I2C to the other controller boards and conditioning any signals to and from the PC. The motor driver board will be handling, handling the, the lower level control of driving the, the motors to where they need to be with a given force to a, a given position.